Dark cutters at harvest are the result of pre-harvest stress and the resulting elevated pH in the muscle. In this excerpt from his presentation at the 2020 Ohio Beef Cattle Nutrition and Management School, Dr. Steve Boyles goes into detail about specific causes and how dark cutters might be prevented. Dark cutters, that's the result of pre-harvest stress and we have a depletion of what's called muscle glycogen. That's an energy storage uh, in the muscles. It results in an elevated pH and the color, the color. Remember those steers that ran seven to 10 you know, minutes in a mile? Increase incident. The question is, how long does it come back? If we've got stressed animals, how long does it take them for that glycogen to settle back down. It's probably several days for let them, you know, cause, they, what if what if animal goes through sleet and rain? Well, we don't want to immediately slaughter those animals. Maybe the next day, but not today. Yeah. Yeah. If you've ever, wow, I'm 63. I need a day to recover from overdoing it. <laughs> so handling can be a problem. We just kind of talked about that. Disposition can be an issue. How many of you have a relative that's crazy? Thank you. The rest of you are liars. Uh, uh, that's not a majority, hopefully. But yeah, it can be genetics, uh, somewhat related there. And weather, I just mentioned, you know, moving cattle in sleet and wet, that's going to cause them to shiver. And that is also depletion of energy in the muscle so we can get that dark color. Well, so kind of leading up along with that, extreme weather, cold weather especially, um, mixing different pens of cattle prior to harvest. Uh, I can think of this with the county fair. Somebody, buy, local car dealer buys a steer, local appliance buys a steer, whoever, and they put them together the night before at the local packing plant. What are those steers doing that night before? They're fighting. They're not thinking about life. They're reestablishing the hierarchy. That takes energy. So we can get in some dark cutters. Which show. Pardon? That can be, yeah. And especially if they're mixed together or, yeah, that, that's inner exertion. Buller, well, we call buller steers. Those are actually the ones that get mounted and mounted and mounted. Yeah, they need to be pulled because they're, they're getting abused, but also a lot of energy expenditure by them. Uh, so that causes stress. Crowding can cause stress. I just mentioned uh, genetics. It's just interesting in genetics, disposition, in many cases, it's more highly heritable than reproductive traits. So you can make an impact. Uh, but loud noises, when we're handling, we don't need to be yelling. Well, increased pH in dark uh, cutters. That's, well, the, the color's not good, but there's another problem. That muscle that has elevated pH, it reduces its shelf life. Uh, the bacteria like that. They, that. If the muscle's a little bit on the acid side, that keeps the bacteria away. When it gets into that dark area, we have some elevated pH that's a better environment for microbes, so we can't keep that meat out. It's already not very attractive, but now maybe not even we 